Hey man, that's the Cappy Mac Morning Show. With your buddy Cappy the Mac. We're doing the Division 1 Morning Show. Because it's an ambush. We're going to ambush some baddies. Still bad man's in New York City. Trying to get rid of them for a long time. It's gonna be a long fight. Could go on forever. I guess the baddies in New York City have a medical plan somehow. I don't know, man. Maybe they got maybe they got doctors. Maybe they got maybe they got something. Maybe they got defibrillators. You can get a really small defibrillator for your car. Not very expensive, man. Plug it in, get to fibrillate a bunch of cars. I got one of those. Maybe these baddies in New York, maybe they got personal defibrillators. Agent, before we pulled out of the dark zone, the brass airdropped in some shade tech stations to coordinate local ops. Thing is, those tactical sites are still in there, sitting on all sorts of intel. We want it back, and so does every rogue agent in the city. We need you to get a team together and download whatever you can from those stations before someone else does. You are now entering a safe area. Now I need intel. Intel and personal defibrillators. Because that's what I need. No one's got insult for me? No. Alright. Alright. I get it. leaving the safe area. Close car doors in New York City, man. You are one impressive individual. Yeah, man, I can run all day. Sometimes it feels like I am.
pushed him. Your goddamn friend. <laughs> Thanks, man. You show up, put down some uh, seekers. They did. Give me my intel. Until oh well. Hey, agent. Hey, folks. It's Rick Velasquez. That's a little like something. See if I can get me another instance.
think I'm going to mix up the morning show a little bit. After we get done with Division 1, I think I'm going to dig into uh, possibly some... Uh, I don't know, man. It's early in the morning. My brain's not working, but I'm going to come up with something. Possibly something. Now that I got my Xbox replaced and my old Xbox is in the shop, probably going to tell me we have to, you know, put the old Xbox down. I really hate yeah, to use it as an Xbox, but, you know, sometimes you have to. Now entering a safe area. Might be the only option. There we go. Well, I'm sure we're going to come up with something. Probably going to do Xbox for the morning show and then PlayStation when I stream at night. And yeah, it'll probably be on uh, Division 2 for, uh, the foreseeable future. You are now leaving the safe area. Division 2 can be a lot of fun. I've got a really good build working. On the Division 2, I'm trying to get both, uh, Optimist and, uh, Ranger. A little bit tricky. Now, the same guns in two different games by, built by the same company it can be just a little bit different. The FAMAS in Division 2 is a Namby Pamby AR. 
The FAMAS in Division 1 is an exotic. And it kicks butt. It's not, it's not very stable, but it do get the job done. The FAMAS here is also known as the Bullfrog. It's also known as the FAMAS. So uh, welcome to two-factor authentication. The database where the authentication information is stored is not even on the internet. So that will be secure. Hey, I can see you're looking to buy. Nobody's gonna hack that database. This is Rick. And with two factor are not going to be sharing accounts. And then I'm going to log who's doing what. Active echo beacon detected. User activity logging. 
users not sharing accounts. So I'll know who's doing what, where, when, where, why, and when, and how. When things happen, I'll know what's going on. Oh, it's up here. And then I think it'll suddenly become a lot more stable. Because I think users are messing around sometimes. Someone does something, they go, whoops a daisy, and they blame it on whatever. Warning, incoming hostiles. Coming up on our boys at the breach point. Check in with them for your entry. We need those cleaners exterminated. Pronto. And there's no build diversity in the, in the Division 2. Additional hostiles detected. You wanna rock and roll? You need to do damage. That's all it is, man. Show no mercy. Watch them out. Great build. All about doing as much damage as you can. That's it. Skills don't matter.
Crafting is irrelevant. But there is gear everywhere, man. A safe area. They said they weren't going to do it, but then they done done it. Hey, looking to buy? NYC, NYC. I'm Rick Falassi, and this is me. Man. Hey, agent. On the brass, airdrop in some shade tech stations to coordinate local ops. Thing is, those tactical sites are still in there, sitting on all sorts of intel. We want it back, and so does every rogue agent in the city. We need you to get a team together and download whatever you can from those stations before someone else does. You can save your global event credits, but there's a cap. And once you reach that cap, you're not going to save anymore. You're going to be saving the same amount. the safe area. Approaching marked location. Get off our turret! Yeah, man, he's the star, man. Warning. Hostiles detected nearby. match for the ambush. Agent, 
Let's have a chat. I got something you'll be interested in. Good luck with this one, Asia. I know you can handle it. We are the epicenter after all. Your attention, please. Do not, I repeat, do not feed the stray dogs near the perimeter. They tuned the raid for damage dealing. You have to deal shitload of damage if you want to survive in the raid. Survivability doesn't matter. Skills don't matter. And then they nerfed the skill, the, the talents that could have helped during the raid. That's how they balanced it. So they went from, there were a couple of builds that might have been useful during the raid. And they flattened it into, it's only one build. Get over it. I'm totally opposed to if there's only one build. Because that makes doing a build a uh, totally ridiculously mindless activity, which I reject. So I'm probably never going to do the raid. And there's no matchmaking, so... Approaching marked location. What does it matter? I don't have seven friends. Warning. Hostiles detected nearby. They owe us. Warning. Additional incoming hostiles detected. ton of build diversity in Division 1.
I think the lack of build diversity in Division 2 is going to hurt the game. Because it'll get dull and boring. That's like if World of Warcraft had one, one character class. Hey, Agent. I need you to check. And it was Paladin. And if you want to play the game, then do the raids. You got to be a paladin. It's your only option, man. Now entering a safe area. If you're in the division two and you're going, what what should my build be for the raid? You haven't been paying attention. I've got a target for you. No new assignments right now. I know you got a handle on this. Good luck. You got that goal for you, which is nice. So, folks have been asking me about the federal government. Just do a bit. Just do a damage build, man. You'll be fine. What about skills? Skills don't matter. What about survivability? Irrelevant. Morning. You are now leaving the safe area. Say they should just take all the skills out of the game, take all the skill mods out of the game. They don't work anyway. They're worthless. Give everybody the same amount of armor, the same amount of health. The only talent. Approaching marked location. Damage talent. Because that's all there is. Warning. Hostiles detected nearby. And you don't have to track anything for a build. Oh, it's it's all the same build. Damage build. You think you can take us? Do it by the number. Tango inbound. Lock this area down. ready when you can do a million d DPS plus, then you're raid ready. Entering a 
hostiles detected. Alert. Heavily armored hostile detected. I just think it's a dull and boring way to do a build. Because you, you've neutered about 80% of what's in the game. Agent, I got something for you. And you're never going to use it. I'm not worried about you, Agent. You're one of our best. Take care. If the apex of the game, which is the raid, nullifies 80% of what you got in the game, why would anybody waste their time with the 80% that's nullified? Oh, 
High value target has been eliminated. Why they bother to uh, try to balance the raid? I mean, they flattened everything into it's a damage build, and if they had to neuter some things that were going to be useful during the raid, so that people wouldn't have as good, as big an advantage during the raid, then they failed because they flattened everything down hey, into age. one build. Got a damage build? You're gonna be fine. Pulse skill can be slightly useful during part of it, but not really. Turret skill can be you are now slightly entering a useful safe area. during part of it, but not really. Agent, let's talk. Got something working on something for next time, but right now I got nothing. I know you got this. I'll see you soon. All you gotta do is be a survivalist, get yourself an AR, do a million DPS or more, and you'll kick ass during the raid. Best gear for the streets, right here. And it's the same old, same old, man. Spec for uh, credit chance, credit damage. Warning. You are now leaving the safe area. Stack as much of that as you can. AR damage. The survivalist. Best the luck out there. Best the luck out there. Remember to comply with all requests from last man battalion personnel. The life you save could be your own. Gear with red. I think it's a lot more fun to have explosive damage. And I think the rest of the game, other than the raid, is is, is where the fun is. Now entering a safe area. Approaching marked location. Warning, now we're exiting the safe area.
zones incoming. You know, it'd be like uh, if the World of Warcraft had like six classes, and everybody wanted to be mage, but the raid was geared for paladin. I want to play mage because it's fun. Not during the raid, man. Yeah, I can't. Hey, agent. They know how to balance it for multiple classes. Hey, I got something new right here for you. They don't know how to do buffs and debuffs. Good luck with this one, Agent. I know you can handle it. So aside from the developers not knowing what the fuck they're doing, and the rate being dull and boring, the rest of the game for me is fun. I actually enjoy it. 
because there's build diversity out there you know, in the rest of the world as long as you're Best not in the rain. in the city check it out and the raid is only going to be challenging until people figure out they need to do a fucking damage mill. Raid is only challenging if you want to be stupid and go, well, wait a second. I mean, I've been doing an explosive build, so it should work during the raid, and it's not. It's not gonna work. Or I've been doing a healer build. It's really killer. Cause I can tank. Don't take it. To, but don't take it to the raid, man. The last man battalion and you. Rebuilding Manhattan. One it's only a challenge until you figure out there's one build, and only one build. And then it suddenly ceases to be a challenge. Now it may take people a bit of time to get that one build to the point where it can... You are now entering a safe well. area. But there's only one build for the raid. The damage bill. Max out crit hit chance. Warning. You are now Max leaving the safe area. Damage. Max out damage to elites. Approaching marked location. Because everything everything is a fucking elite in the raid. We all got an unfinished mission. Drop the store near here once. Eliminated. 
inventory full. Oh man. Oh, Gears of War. Hey, age. My brain suddenly started working. I'm gonna start doing Gears of War in the morning. For the morning show. Do a little playthrough. That'll be after I get done with the division. Burning agent. My half of the engine. You got anything for that? You got anything for an engine half? I'm looking for uh, nomads. Alpha Bridge can be fun once you get a full set. Otherwise, you'd be wanting uh, nomads. And now that I'm back up to 3,000. Classified Alpha Bridge cash might be interesting, but I'm still hunting for nomads. Tactician might be interesting. Those caches are a little expensive. And I like going for quantity. And there's also, you know, there's always a chance of an exotic. Superior cash get chances for exotic. The others, there's no chance for exotic. It's just a pile of 
possibly have classified here. But that's where I like to come down. And now that I've got uh, four of them. We're about... About a third of the way through. It's pretty easy to get the superior caches. I'll probably end up with uh, probably three times what I've got right now. Probably could end up with 12. I'll have to see. But that's it for the morning show. The Gears of War up next. We'll catch you next time.